Hello YouTube and Facebook people, welcome back to my videos. Today's video is a haul video. That is one of my favorite types of videos to make. Um, let's see, last weekend we hit 15 garage sales, 14 or 15 garage sales. Me, Smelly Melly, and her kiddos, and we did really, really good. The first garage sale, I found a bag, or a box, I should say, an overflowing box full of clothes. Smelly Melly found a bag full of shoes. She also resells. She's on eBay selling shoes. Uh, yeah, so after that first one, we had to make a stop at home to drop some stuff off to clear some room in the trunk. Um, and then after that, things just kept going good, so I lucked out. Um, I have a big haul to show you guys. I'm all set. I have stuff sitting on my lap ready to go. Uh, but let me go over pricing real quick. So I spent a total of $46.50. I bought 51 items and that comes up to 91 cents each. There's my beautiful... <laughs> oh man, I am quite the businesswoman. Uh, yeah, so 91 cents each is really really good I just averaged everything out because like as you'll see in this first pile I did spend up a little bit at a garage sale more more than I normally would but um, yeah it all averaged out to under a dollar per piece so I'm gonna go ahead and just jump right into it that item I'm talking about that I spent up on was this really cute coach wallet um, excellent condition besides the fact that I can't unzip it on the first try I've filmed this <laughs> a few times and I I keep messing up right there but it's just a really cute simple wallet I paid up on that how many times can I tell you that I paid up on that next is the brand Cavu um, their bags sell really good Ooh, let me hide my head there we go it's a size large I think it's a men's and it's a short sleeve sweatshirt it's really thick sweatshirt material I kind of like it, but I will not keep it. I do not need any more clothes. I do not need any more clothes. Actually, out of all of these pieces, I only picked up one thing for myself, so I'm pretty proud of myself for that. Next, I did not pick this one up for brand. It's the brand Fresh Produce, made in the USA, size large, and I picked it up because it's a really cool vintage shirt. It's this bright coral color and then it has this bright graphic I don't know if you can see that but it says Las Vegas and then it has some cactus on it and it is stingle stingle stitch <laughs> it is single stitch um let me hide my head but that always seems to do good for me vintage single stitch made in the USA especially when there's no stains or holes in it which is kind of hard to come by um next at that same garage sale I got this Nike size extra large made in the USA. I'm not sure if this is vintage or not. I don't really know the Nike labels, but it is this what I consider a dad sweatshirt. Um, it's just this basic maroon crew neck sweatshirt and it has the logo embroidered on the chest. I don't know if all dads wear these or just my dad, <laughs> but I think he has about 10 to 15 sweatshirts that all look the same. <laughs> Hi, Dad. <laughs> You're probably watching this. Stop talking about my sweatshirts. Okay, next, I am lost in this one. There's the tag. It is this vintage Victoria's Secret. That's the white label, um, size large, and that white label tends to do good for me. This one is polyester, and it is this really pretty floral robe, and it does have the belt with it, which is nice. So that's a sweet find. And then another sweet find is this vintage white label Victoria's Secret. Um, this one is a sleep shirt, size medium. And this one is a button up sleep shirt. Oversized, you can just wear the shirt as a whole outfit. <laughs> uh, polyester again, if I didn't say that. So that was one garage sale. Next garage sale, let's see. Oh sweet a pair of car hearts um, I find that if it has the leather patch it sells better for me personally these ones are a smaller size they are a men's size 30 34 um, just a zip fly but I liked that they had the like double padded knee area like in front of the leg and then I think this one yeah it has like the hel helmer it has the hammer 
belt loop and it is a cargo pocket which is nice those are all keywords that will help it to sell so that was sweet find again 91 cents per item it's pretty crazy uh, this next one is a brand I like picking up this is a vintage Calvin Klein size 5 well, there's the tag and normally I like picking up Calvin Klein's that have like the big leather patch on the back so people know you're wearing Calvin Klein's. This one doesn't have that, but it is cool because it is like a carpenter pant. It has that hammer loop like those Carhartts did, and it does have cargo pockets. So I think those will still do good even though they don't have the big leather patch. And the big leather patch I'm talking about is like this one right here. So again, another vintage pair of Calvin Klein's. These are a size 7. Um, when I pick up Calvin Klein's, I don't know if that I've ever seen like a new pair. I don't know if Calvin Klein still makes clothing. I've never seen them in the thrift store, like a new pair. It's always vintage stuff. Um, but I always look for this big tag right here. Uh, let's see, these are a zip fly. What is it, a straight leg? No, it looks like a bootleg boot cut. Next is the brand Tommy Hill figure. These are a size 4. I don't know if it has a style. Triple T31. I don't, I don't know if that's the uh, style. Tommy Hill figure. And then these ones I really liked because they have the colorful embroidery patch on the butt. Um, and it also has a leather patch up top. So double score. And these are just a black pair of mom jeans, straight leg. They look like they're high rise. And that is everything from that second garage sale. Okay, the third garage sale. I'll save the big box for last. <laughs> I was just making eye contact with my ring light. That's not the camera. There you are. So next, this stuff came from our local Humane Society. Once a year, they have this huge garage sale and like everybody in town brings and donates their stuff for this garage sale because all the money goes towards the animals, which is a really good cause. Uh, we went on the second day because for the first day we were late getting there because they closed at like 12 o'clock, which was pretty early. But me and Chad woke up on Saturday early and went down there and it was half off because they were just trying to get rid of the stuff that they had left. So I scored. Um, yeah, I'll start with the bag that's in front of me. This is a little wool coach bag. There's the little logo. It's really cute. Um, it kind of reminds me of like the Mad Hatter <laughs> of that, that cat, the crazy cat that lives in the tree. Hello. I don't know if that ever focused, but that's just the inside uh, code or whatever you call it. This one's actually pretty clean. Um, it just needs lint rolled. It's got some animal hair on it, which is pretty fitting for where it came from. And yeah, everything looks like it's in really good condition on that. Um, 91 cents. This next one is not like a brand name. I just thought it was kind of cool. It's this National Geographic crossbody bag. And it has, I don't know that you could fit a water bottle in there, but it does have little mesh pockets on the side. And it's just one big open compartment. But good condition, and I think it's kind of cool. Uh, next, again, is the brand Cavu. And it's this little, little wallet. Oh, uh, she. It's got like a little coin purse in the back. This one actually looks brand new, like it's never been used. It's super clean and in mint condition. So that's a cool find. Um, next is a really dirty, <laughs> I didn't realize it was this dirty, um, uh, it's this really dirty coach wristlet. Is it a wristlet? I mean, it has like little compartments for your cards. Is it a wallet? I don't know. It's got the little coach thing, but then it, I just now saw this. I don't know if that's going to come off or not. We shall find out. And even if I sell it for really cheap, I only paid 91 cents for it. So that's okay with me. Okay, let's see. The last non-clothing-ish item are these pair of Merrill shoes. These are a men's size 12. And like the exterior is in mint condition. So it's like this meshy stuff and then it has the leather. Really great condition. 
but it, they are missing the uh, the insoles. But I kind of figure maybe people won't care that much because you could always help mother. <laughs> oh, I jammed my finger and I broke my nail. Z. Um, <laughs> so the only flaw is it's missing its, um, its insole. But I figure you could just go get like a Dr. Scholl's and pop it in there and then bam, you got some brand new Merrell's. Man, that really did hurt. I broke my nail. I like bent it. Okay. And then these are the clothes that I picked up from the Humane Society. Um, I was going pretty fast because there was a lot of people around me looking through the clothes. So I was just going and going and going and just grabbing them and handing them to Chad. And I kind of looked him over. I didn't look him over like very good, but I knew I was going to get a really good deal. So I wasn't too concerned at the time. But these... But this is a Patagonia size 10 women's skirt and just a plain hiking skirt, but it does have the built-in shorts, which is just nice, and it does feel like brand new. This next one was kind of an accidental purchase. I was going really fast. I saw this label and I thought it looked unique, and then I forgot to look it up. But the brand is Anoki, and this is an extra, extra large. I thought it was a men's button up shirt, but I'm not 100% positive. I'll have to look up the brand and see. It kind of gives the feeling of like a Hawaiian shirt and the name on it kind of seems Hawaiian, but I am not sure. Okay, next is a Columbia men's size extra large. And it is just a button up short sleeve shirt. Nothing too amazing. What's on the front? Oh, it's the little Columbia tag. <laughs> Next is another Columbia. I've sold this type of sweater before. This is a women's large, and this is kind of like what I call a nubby sweater. Like, it's really textured. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it in the camera. It's just a very textured sweater, and it tends to do really good for me. Actually, I think I've sold this type of sweater twice, um, but this one's a really pretty orange color. Next is the brand O'Neill. This is a size extra large. I don't know that I've ever sold a piece by O'Neill. I don't know that I've ever tried to sell a piece by O'Neill. I remember growing up in high school, this was an expensive brand. I don't know if it still is. Um, but it's just a plaid purple and gray button-up flannel. And it's in excellent condition. Like, it feels new. Uh, let's see. Next is a jacket. This is Lamb's N. Men's large and it's a vintage work jacket, I suppose. I don't know what you would use this for. Anything? <laughs> it's a jacket for when it's cold, I don't know. Um, land's end on the chest. It's fleece lined. Interior pockets. It's just in really nice condition. I like selling land's end. Okay, next is by the brand Lauren, Ralph Lauren, and this is a size medium. And it's just a basic zip up hoodie, but I got it because I really liked that it was simple, but then it also has like the Ralph Lauren logo. It just has like Y2K vibes. <laughs> uh, next is a pair of jeans that I found shoved in with some sheets. And I saw that it was Levi's. I saw the patch, and it's the 550s. These are 33 by 30. Um, they were in kind of ripped condition, a little rough. I don't know if these were made in USA. Made in USA. We likey. But the seller, whoops, my head. The camera just loves this part of my head right here. <laughs> uh, but the seller for me was that it's an orange tab. So the back little tab that says Levi's. I'm gonna make you look at it. Stop looking at my head. There we go. So that little tag is orange. I don't know what that means. I just know that it means it's worth more money. I have sold little kids orange tab Levi's before and they did really good. Um, okay, the last two things from the Humane Society were, these are probably my favorite things from that. These are Marmot size small. And they are also Gore-Tex, which anything Gore-Tex like automatically makes it worth more money. 
Gore-Tex. Does that say Gore-Tex? Is that the opposite side? No, it says Gore-Tex. I just can't read. <laughs> um, but they're a pair of snow pants. And I really like that they're gray, but then they have like this bright red accent. These ones are in excellent condition. Like, I don't know that they were worn that much. Like, normally this bottom part is kind of torn up from people skiing and snowboarding and stuff. But it's like perfect. So these ones are in really, really good condition. They just have a little dirt on them. That's probably from the Humane Society. Um, these next ones are in a little bit more worn state. Um, again, they are Marmot. These ones are a size large. And again, they are Gore-Tex. I think it says it on the outside too that they're Gore-Tex. But let's see. If I find it, I'll show it to you. If not, it's not important. I could have swore it did. But these ones have like a little wear like you can see on the actual pant there's some wear right here and it's the same for the other leg too but nothing bad at all I mean there's no holes in them normally there's like holes going through this part of it so that's a really cool find okay this next box and my final box this was the first garage sale we went to where we had to stop and unload the car because we had got so much stuff okay <laughs> Let me try and pull it into frame to show you. <laughs> yeah! It's pretty heavy. So right here is the next box. And all of this came from one garage sale. I don't know if these people are resellers or if they just have a lot of clothing. But they had probably two tables worth of shoes set up and my sister cleaned it off. And then they had ugh, like one, two, three, four like six tables of clothes and then a few racks of hanging up clothes like and not just like tables but like mounds like it looked like the bins at this garage sale um yeah so i'll go ahead and go through that most of them i feel like were plus size which is fine with me um like this one is an area tech extra extra large cold series and i haven't like i said looked up any of the comps on the back it says ariat but it's just this jacket, like a thermal jacket. And it's in excellent condition. And real quick, with this box, my hopes were that at a minimum, I would make a profit of at least $15 per item. Um, I know some of it can go for more, like that Ariat jacket will probably make me more profit than $15. But there's a lot of just bread and butter, like Nike underarm or stuff in here. And I said that really weird. I was choking on my spit. <laughs> There's a lot of Nike and Under Armour stuff in here. So bread and butter. But I'm hoping at a minimum I will profit $15 from each. We shall see. Okay. So moving on. This one is an Under Armour size large. Really nice like running shirt. It's hooded and it feels like it's compression. And again, like excellent condition. Next is another Under Armour. These are a men's size extra, extra large. And these ones are a jogger. Are they a jogger? Nope, just a sweatpant. But it has the logo right there. And they are just gray, plain sweatpants with a drawstring waist. Excellent condition. Okay. <laughs> Next is Under Armour size 2XL. And this is kind of just like one of their more basic athletic t-shirts. So nothing special. It's just a men's plus size and it's in excellent condition. Uh, next is another Under Armour. This one is a size medium and it's the Cold Gear series. And this one is a jacket, which is really nice. I like that it has like the color blocking and a hood excellent condition uh let's see next actually i don't know if i picked this up for me or to resell i'll look at the comps i don't know how well um like snap on <laughs> clothing does it's missing the tag but i do like the back graphic on it it's like a old sports car and it says superior tools distinctive <laughs> okay <laughs> I like the graphic um, I'll look up comps and see if it's worth selling but like I said I did pick that one up for me so technically I got two things for me 
while we're out garage sailing. Next is Under Armour, and this one's another compression top, and it is extra, extra large. And it's just the basic, like, the tank top version. Excellent condition. Next is a Nike Dry Fit. This one is a size 3XL. I'm pretty sure this one's men's as well. Uh, she, is there any logo? Oh yeah, it's right there. <laughs> and this one is like a little turtleneck compression. Excellent condition. This one is Under Armour, size 36, 34. That's actually Chad's size. Maybe I'll see if he wants these. And it's a pair of, I don't know, are they golf pants? They almost feel like dress pants, but I don't know why you'd wear dress pants that are under armor. So maybe they are like for golfing. And then it has the logo on the back. Excellent condition. Next is another under armor. This one is 2XL. And this one is a long sleeve quarter zip. No, full zip. Long sleeve, full zip. And it's like that athletic material. It doesn't feel like a jacket. It's like one of those athletic shirts. Next is another Under Armour. This one is a size extra large and it says that it is fitted. This one's a cool jacket. It's black and a neon green. Quarter zip pullover sweatshirt. I like it. Next is a different brand, finally. This one is the brand Fox, and it's a size extra large, and it is just this long sleeve thermal graphic shirt. Excellent condition. Next is another Under Armour. This one is a 3XL. This is the fitted cold gear, and this one feels like it's fleece lined. And again, it's just like the turtleneck, and it's the compression-y feeling. Uh, where's the logo? Oh, duh, it's on the back. <laughs> Excellent condition. I'm only saying that because I'm thinking that maybe something I grabbed is not in excellent condition, but so far it's all in really excellent condition. Another fox. This one's a women's medium. Hello. And it is a hooded t-shirt. And it has the... Uh, the logo on the arms it says Fox and it has a logo and it's got the uh, thumb holes so it's kind of like a running shirt even though I don't think you run in Fox I think that is dirt bikes next is another Under Armour this one is a women's extra large and it's this really purple quarter zip pullover sweatshirt super pretty color and it has the logo embroidered on the back again excellent condition and I liked this one because it does have like that textured lining inside. I don't know if you can see that. I like that type of sweater or sweatshirt. Next, I was on the fence between keeping this and selling it, but this is Eddie Bauer Extra Extra Large, and it's like a teddy bear sweatshirt, sweater, super fuzzy, and I really like the colors and the plaid. It just feels really, really cozy, but I'll probably sell it. <laughs> I have about 20 sweaters or sweatshirts in my personal closet, and I wear two of them, <laughs> so I will not be keeping that one. Uh, what are you? This is Under Armour Extra Large. I should have guessed what the brand was. Uh, is this women's? I feel like this one's a women's. It's got the logo on there. Oh yeah, it's women's, and then it has really cool spell out in cursive <laughs> on the arm that says Under Armour. I like it. Excellent condition. I'm guessing by the color this is women's. Oh, it's not Under Armour. This one is by the North Face. It's a size small. I don't know if you can see that, but it's just a hoodie. Purple hoodie. Just a typical hoodie. What is that? Is it leopard print? I can't tell if that's supposed to be leopard print or not, but it does have the cool coloring. That one's in good condition, not excellent condition, just good condition. It does have a little wash wear. Um, next is the brand Nike. This is a size extra small, and this is their running line. Is that what it's called? Dry fit. Oh, it just says dry fit. Oh, no, it does. Durr. It does say Nike running right there. 
See, I was right. Okay, this one is a quarter zip brown. Is it supposed to be a zebra? No, I think it's just kind of organic striping. I really like it though. And it has like a little pocket in the back for your key. And then it has the reflection strip on the back. I like it. Excellent condition. <laughs> um, let's see. Next. Ooh, another brand. Next is a Hurley size extra large. And I think this one's a men's. And it's just a uh, long sleeve t-shirt with the spell out on the chest. Um, this one I was going to look up comps. I don't know this brand. I mean, it does have a Ross uh, sticker in it. So it is new with tags, but that's the only tag it has, I think. Oh, no, no, no. We have a, we have a real tag. That's good. Uh, what is this brand? RBX? I don't know that brand. So I will look it up. If it is worth selling, then I will sell it. And if not, I will keep it or give it to Smelly Melly because she likes hooded shirts. Uh, this one's a size 1X. It looks like it's an oversized 1X. But it's like really soft material. Okay, we're almost to the bottom. Next is an American Eagle, size extra large. American Eagle. And it's just a boxy fitting sweatshirt. It looks like it's oversized. Um, is there anything special? Nope, there's nothing special to tell you. <laughs> Excellent condition. Next. Oh, did I buy this for me? I thought I was doing good. No, no, no. I bought this one to resell. I just liked it. It's American Eagle Jagging Fit. Extra large. Ah, amazing soft. Meets not amazing, but it is kind of soft. See, I'm not just being funny. It does say amazing. Um, it's a purple leopard print hoodie. And their jagging ones are like oversized sweaters and sweatshirts to hide your butt because it goes longer so you can wear your leggings underneath without looking like a hoochie. <laughs> TMI, TMI, Valerie. Columbia, size medium. I'm guessing this is a men's. Columbia, size medium. Long sleeve, really lightweight. Henley button up pullover shirt. Oh, my legs are getting tired. There's a mound of clothes sitting on them. Um, this one did not have... This one did not have any size tags. I just know the logo. And actually, looking at it closer, it's cooler than I thought it was. So it is this sweatshirt, quarter zip pullover, men's, and it's under... Not under armor. Oh my god. <laughs> Everything's under armor. Is Mountain Hardware. That little nut right there is Mountain Hardware. But I'm noticing that if you flip the collar, if you want to wear your collar down, it has the logo on the other side. So you can wear it either way and still let people know you are a fancy person because you wear Mountain Hardware. Um, <laughs> I don't see a size tag either. I'm just going to have to measure it. Okay, the last thing in the box can you guess the brand? <laughs> Under Armour Extra Extra Large Cold Gear Fitted. And it's got the thing on the back. And it's just a basic long sleeve shirt. I see some writing. What does it say? Base 3.0. I'm guess is that like a base layer? You layer it? Like with hiking stuff? I don't know. But it is kind of textured. I don't know if you can see the little... Come on. There's like little bumpies on it. Oh, I'm exhausted. That was a lot of stuff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so tired. Okay, that's everything in this haul. Again, that was 51 pieces. Each one of them cost 91 cents. That's a really good deal. Cheaper than the bins and way cheaper these days than just your typical thrift store. Uh, I have a few weeks worth of listing now, which is nice. Um, I hope next week the garage sales are just as good. Um, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. If you're not subscribed, feel free to hit the subscribe button. I am almost to a thousand subscribers. I am so close. So hit the subscribe button if you would. Give it a like. Leave a comment down below. Uh, and yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.